All righty. Oh my goodness. I've run into so many technical problems and the podcast is tomorrow with Grace Peacock. My mic broke, completely broke. So I had to run out and try and find a mic and I couldn't find one. Uh, so I had to literally buy one off Facebook Marketplace, but this is still a better model than the one before. So hopefully it sounds good for you guys. Let me know if it sounds better or the same, but yeah, nonetheless, big construction update today. Well, I guess it, yeah, it's pretty big, but it's what's at the end. That's important. It's about behemoth. Um, but as you can see with Tuncha Twister, lots of work starting. They've even got the, an electrical power unit right over there by the Yukon support going up. I think that's what that is. I could be wrong, so take that with a grain of salt. Um, outside of that, nothing else too exciting in terms of Tundra Twister. So if we head on over to Snoopy's Racing Railway, you can clearly see the station's actual foundation. Uh, it looks like it's done and they're just letting some more of the concrete dry and you can actually even see where the track's gonna go. Um, so that's pretty cool. I didn't think I saw the trains on the drone footage, uh, but when I washed it back, they're under a white tarp. So it blended in with the snow over by the Vortex trains in the maintenance bay. Uh, but yeah, Snoopy's Racing Railway is going pretty slow in terms of construction. I, I would have expected it to be a little farther along by now. So um, I'm definitely like, ooh, we're cutting it down. You know, we're two months and like 10 days till opening, 70 days until opening, 69, something like that. Um, so yeah, we're really cutting it close, guys. Really cutting it close. For those of you that don't know, you will require a kid to ride Snoopy's Racing Railway. I know, sad face. Now for the tea. All right, so over here, if you look really closely, they actually have a company working on the main electrical grid coming out of the park, going into the park. So that's really interesting. Again, lots of work on electrical and it's only getting more interesting. So there's about 10 cars, you'll see more pull up, um, surrounding Behemoth. And you see a wood structure right at the bottom base of the lift hill for Behemoth. Well, this company is called Smith & Long. What's even more interesting is predicting what they are going to do. One thing we can rule out is this company is not here to paint Behemoth, okay? What Smith & Long specializes in is a variety of things, mainly electrical, um, but they specialize in things like industrial automation. So for example, PLC systems and panel design build. So I thought that was interesting because they seem to be all around Behemoth. Um, there's also a dumpster park next to Behemoth, but we're not like, it could be for anything, um, but maybe they're going to rip up the PLC system and put a brand new one in. Um, maybe there's going to be a new chain installed, although I believe Behemoth had its chain um, reinstalled a brand new one not too long ago, like five, four or five years ago. I could be wrong about that. Maybe it just had work or maybe it's just going to have little work now, but uh, it could be a variety of things. This company specializes in engineering services mostly around refurbishment or power studies. They also specialize in tunneling um, refurbishment, again, under that. Uh, mechanical and electrical construction, interesting. So they could be building a ride, but again, where they're located has me thinking it's all behemoth. So what could it be? Well, I honestly think that either Wonderland had something that they found on behemoth very last minute as they were setting it up, um, so now they have, again, this company could be coming in for mechanical maintenance because they do specialize in that as well. So maybe they're going to be the ones that are doing behemoths mechanical maintenance. Very large team though. Like look at them. They're pulling up. They're just like, yeah, we're here. The army is arriving. What do you need us to do? Um, so I'm, I'm really thinking that it could be a, a, just a huge behemoth upgrade, um, with its age and everything, you know, maybe they're just going to upgrade the PLC. Um, to the, to the ride, it could be mechanical maintenance again with the chain. Again, you can't ignore that giant wood formation at the bottom of the lift. So it definitely has me thinking it's more mechanical maintenance. So, um, we'll have to keep an eye on this. <laughs> uh, it was really interesting. Uh, you know, we got a, a little fingers crossed hoping that they were there for world expo, but that's simply not true. It does not look like this has anything to do with world expo. Now, what probably has something to do with World Expo down the lines is that work you see going on on the main electrical grid coming out of the park. Again, we can't ignore that there's a giant generator that's now meant for the mountain. Um, so the park is still working full throttle on the electrical for the park, and they're upgrading uh, what looks like the electrical for the toll booths for possible toll booth renovation. Um, again, we are starting to think that front gate and the toll booths 
are due for a possible renovation in 2024. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that as well. Lots of tea going on in terms of Canada's Wonderland. It's It seems like, again, like I've been saying for the last five weeks since the podcast started, that Wonderland is going to be receiving a ton of funds um, from Cedar Fair in terms of upgrading its infrastructure and future additions and just lots of investment coming to the park. You're going to continue to see this. It's going to be almost like every off season now we're going to see lots of work lots of progress lots of weird companies showing up like you're seeing this off season this off season honestly i don't know if you guys have noticed it's been one of the most exciting off seasons outside of yukon striker being built i i have nothing to report on like as of snoopy's racing rail and tundra twister nothing exciting but still lots to report on if that makes sense so it's been very exciting anyways thanks so much for watching this construction update um a Hope you guys are ready for tomorrow's podcast. Hopefully this mic is working. As soon as I'm done recording, I'll figure it out. But thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye.